Hey guys, welcome to Sanfolio. Thank you for tuning in. Today we have a beautiful entry in the house from the house of Paris Corner, a mirror line. And this one is basically cloning black saffron by Byredo. And this one is a vibrant, sensual saffron. Let's get into this. Up on top, pretty standard basic stuff, tin cans that they're using these days. Uh, vibrant, sensual, or sensual, uh, you know, saffron here. So this is a power pack for saffron. Nice purple um, gold metallic tin pops up just like that. Pretty firm in place. Sits here in this podium. All right, that's a good firm grip there. Nice uh, purplish combination of a black cap right there. Black atomizer, pretty cool. Good solid stuff. Sticks in place. Yep, that's good. And this is sensual saffron. All right, so let's get into this. Pretty interesting to, uh, uh, profile. I have actually experienced the OG uh at my friend's place uh for you know i uh, actually i i tested that um in the summer time so i was like okay we'll, we'll deal with this in the fall and the winter because obviously this is a leathery fruity woody animalic spicy metallic and a bit powdery kind of a scent all good stuff here but it's just that it leans uh, more on the on the fall, winter, early spring side. Uh, so uh, yeah, so hoping this winter or this fall actually, let's uh, you know let's still deal with the black saffron. But for now, we're just talking about this guy. And I like this guy actually. I have uh, uh, given this a full wear. It did bring my memory back, uh, you know, of the black saffron. Uh, let's talk about this. Let's refresh my memory again for the video. Let's do three sprays just for uh, for the sake of filling up the room with saffron here. And it is, it is working. It's right off the bat, good amount of florals. We'll get into the notes, but overall, the, like the main chord of this profile, of the scent profile of this guy is alluring, lucrative, pretty uh, romantic date night kind of a feel. Uh, comfortable, cozy uh, vibes uh, with this guy. It is aromatic for sure. Um, fruity, I would say. And a nice burst of fruitiness with saffron. So, so the fruits here are, if I say fruits are floral, like floral fruits, will, will, will that make sense? But if you know what I mean, this is, you know, one of those cocktail cans that we have for with with multiple like tropical fruits in it, with the, with the, with a syrupy vibe in it, and, like you know, just open it up and like put it on the, on a custard or you know mix it up in with some any kind of like a dessert or a delight. That mixed tropical fruity fruitiness, so actually tropical fruitiness would be the right word. Uh, that leans the fruits in, you know, in that direction. So yeah, a lot of, uh, so a combination of, uh, I see a combination of cherries, pineapples, like some, you know, some melons. With that syrupy vibe of the, of the fruity cocktail that we're talking about. Beautiful, beautiful florals here, especially for, uh, saffron. Saffron is pretty high here. Saffron is all right, saffron is an expensive note. It's a very rare, expensive floral gem. Usually, usually um, a firm player or ingredient partner in the UAE or Middle Eastern fragrances use it pretty often in their in their in their you know in their Middle Eastern scents, along with oud and you know leather and all that good stuff. <sighs> this is dark. This is dense. 
this is manly. This is this is mature stuff we're talking about. This is masculine. Not saying that women can't won't be able to pull this off. This is perfectly unisex and floral and dark. So yeah, I mean, by all means, if you're into this kind of game, ladies, I mean, don't shy away from this guy. I mean, it has a pretty sexy looking bottle anyways. Plus, his profile, its profile is pretty interesting. All right, so let's get into the notes. All right, so we've got Saffron up on top, right on the opening. It stays there up until the end, to be honest. Juniper berries, yes, you're gonna find juniper berries because that is one note that I somehow love for all the scents that I've experienced with juniper berries have always been killer in one of my go-tos. We've got Chinese grapefruit. I think that is something that is kind of like maintaining the sparkly or the up, uplifting side of the scent, which is good because obviously we do need some kind of a balance, right? We, we can't go dark and dense like all the way. But I think that is pretty interesting. The grapefruit vibe that... It's low, it's maintained, it's pretty balanced. Then we've got, in the middle, we've got leather and black violet. A beautiful, again, a combination of beautiful florals. Again, so I think what's happening here isn't on top Saffron is obviously loud, but juniper berries and grapefruit is controlling saffron just to balance that out. In here, in the mids, leather is kind of like controlling black, black violet just to be balanced here. Amazing blend, good stuff. Nothing is going here and there here. Everything is so much balanced and so much smooth. Good job, actually, uh, uh, Amir, uh, by Paris Corner. Um, as I said, this recalled me of the OG immediately, instantly, and then it's maintaining that, that quality of the juice throughout the scent profile. So I am impressed with this guy. Based on we've got raspberry, again, one kind of like uplifting, zingy tingy kind of a note here. Then we've got cashmere and vetiver. So just to balance, again, just to balance things off. Here are the base notes. Wetiver is dealing with cashmere and raspberry. Cashmere, and I just want to like take a moment. It's a beautiful, cozy, very comfy, very relaxing, like in your place, a, a satisfactory kind of a vibe or a note that actually cashmere and brings up to me i mean uh whatever usually again it is on the middle east and south asian nation side of the world like more loud over there um yeah it, it's 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 kind of like a comforting uh pretty comforting note um i, I think it's it's just a fabricated note if i'm not wrong i, I gotta uh, do a little bit of research there on cashmere Oh, as far as I can sense or see or foresee, I think it is a kind of like a fabricated note coming out from um, from looms or some kind of um, you know texture uh, uh, in in a cloth or something like that or something that makes just like silk. I mean, it's, it is animalic, but eventually turns into a cloth. Um, I. I I could be wrong, but I'm just, I gotta, I'm, you know, gotta do a bit of research on there. Uh, but whatever notes I've, whatever sense I've actually experienced, which has cashmere note, has been bangers. Especially the beautiful combination of cashmere that I find is with oud. Amazing, amazing. So see if you can, um, you know, uh, come across a scent profile with oud, cashmere, mm, saffron, uh, leather, I'm just making my own scent here, by the way. So, um, just imagining stuff. But no, back to the business. This guy is good stuff. I like what I smell here. Good, mature, sensible vibe. Like, respectful vibe. Like, interesting. Like, people want to... This will attract attraction. Like, this, is, this will attract 
maturity, attraction, some, some wisdom. Uh, yeah, I'm just... But you know what I mean. Good stuff here. Longevity-wise, six to seven hours of a fragrance, um, which is decent, pretty decent, especially in the fall, winter time. This is gonna rock even more than, even push out more than seven hours. Uh, I don't think this is wearable in the high heat or even in the summertime because, uh, you know, you wanna go on a different vibe in the summer, in the summer days. Uh, so again, respect to this guy. I like what I see. I am, I'm a happy guy with owning this. And I uh, just wanted to bring that forward and uh, see if you can grab this or, you know, if you are into saffron, dark notes, you know, leather, oud, um, kind of like um, attractive, a bit sweet though, uh, but not overkilling or, you know, uh, pretty balanced, I would say. Um, yeah, it has that cosmetic vibes. It has that irisy vibes just a bit. Uh, because of the you know violet and you know saffron and uh, raspberry, um, but but very controlled, very um, you know balanced. Um, at the same time, some dense, dark, tempting vibes to this guy. Respect. Thank you guys for watching this, and comment, subscribe, um, and watch for more. Thank you.